Okay, you guys, what is up? The King of Lightning is here today to do Naruto Chapter 597 review. We are three chapters away from the big 600, and according to Kishimoto, we got two more years left. Well, actually, someone told me, like, three more years. I was like, really? Three more years? Okay, all right. But basically, uh, basically in this chapter, this chapter overall... Uh, overall, overall is an okay chapter. Oh, oh, oh my god, King of Lightning, dude, the reveal, man, the reveal, the bridge, man, Kanabi Bridge, oh my god, yeah, yeah, I know, I know, Kanabi Bridge, I get it, I mean, you know, it's, it's Obito Sharingan, I mean, look, and it wasn't like a few people, like, I had like 12 PMs last night, like, dude, yo, Fucking Toby Sharingan comes from Obito, and it's like, oh shit, like, so fucking what? Like, <laughs> like who cares? Yo, it's like, people should know by now, people should know by now, that right now, my interest in Toby is at an all-time low. I don't, I, I don't care. I don't care who Toby is. The only thing that I want to see right now is the fucking Ten Tails. I mean, look. The way I see the way I see it is that the progenitor of all things that exist in the Naruto universe is way more important, way more important than this dude's face. I mean, that's the way I see things, all right? I mean, like, what's more important? I mean, what's more important? God? Literally, God? Or some dude's face? Uh, God, yeah. I would go with God, yeah, I really would. I really would, so, I'm just saying, I'm just saying, alright, Toby can be Obito, Toby can be Kagami, Toby can be, uh, Sasuke from the future, Toby can be Kakashi's father, I don't care, <laughs> I don't care, alright, just bring it on, bring it on, I mean, what I will say is that even though the Sharingan is strongly hinted to belong to Obito, that, that doesn't mean that Kakashi himself is Obito, even though it is kind of weird because when we saw Obito, when, when we when we saw Obito, half of his face was crushed in by a boulder. But uh, you know, uh, okay, I mean, whatever. I mean, whatever. Yes, it's just hurting. I mean, look, man. All I, all I know is that if half of my face, God forbid, got crushed in by a boulder that I highly doubt that my eye, my right eye, would still be there intact, in perfect condition. And it makes you wonder, like, why did Toby, at that point in time, go for Obito Sharingan? Because there was a fucking, there, there was a fucking cave-in. So why did he go through all the rock and rubble to find some kid's corpse, which somehow survived, well, no, well, not survived, but which somehow had the right eye still intact, Sharingan mode up. So, I don't know. I mean... I'm telling you right now, I'm telling you right now, whoever Toby is, whoever Toby is, whoever he is, people are going to get pissed, it doesn't, it doesn't matter who he is, it, it, honest to God, there, is gonna be, there are going to be people, regardless, who are going to be so disappointed by the reveal of Toby, there's going to be, and also, and also, Kishimoto himself is going to have a lot of issues when it comes to the reveal of, of who Toby is, because no matter who he is, there's gonna be so many plot holes. It's like no, <laughs> like that—that's the way he set him up. Toby, right now, well, no, Kishimoto, he has—he has made like he put himself in a corner when it comes to Toby. He really did. He really did. He took way too much time revealing who the fuck he was, uh, and and then this whole entire this whole entire connection with like Kakashi, it's kind of like, dude, there was no, there was no hint, there was nothing. Even tying two together, there was more because you would think that there would be more relevance with him and Madara since when since when Kabuto opened up the freaking casket and we see El Tensei Madara. And it's like Toby was like you know he was scared and I was like whoa you know so that that would imply a stronger connection between Toby and Madara. But no 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 now it's Kakashi and it's like what the fuck is so, so it it really is. I mean whatever all right all I'm saying is that. When Toby's revealed, there's going to be a lot of plot holes, a lot of issues, and no matter what happens, someone is going to get pissed. No matter no matter who it is, someone is going to get pissed. Though I will say, 
when Toby is revealed, when they finally show who he is, I I know exactly which thumbnail to use. I was like, oh shit, <laughs> yeah, yo, you guys are gonna be so fucking yo. Be on the lookout. When Toby is finally revealed as to who he is, like when we actually see his face, I am gonna use like the funniest thumbnail ever. I was like, oh sh yo, hilarious, hilarious, hilarious. All right. With that being said, this chapter overall, again, it was okay. It was okay. Basically, the the most important shit was at the beginning. Uh, it was at the beginning when basically Kakashi is talking about the well. Like, I'm not gonna go full blown deep into what he was talking about with the explanation. All that matters is that he's talking about how the jutsu that Toby uses, the 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 ability to absorb things and to uh, have the slip through with, with the space-time migration. They're both space-time jutsus and, they, and they're both the same jutsu. That requires a Sharingan. The next important thing is that he reveals that the Kamui and the ability that Toby has are connected to the same dimension. That is key. Why is that key? Because this explains how the Kunai and the Rasengan that were absorbed by the Kamui were able to affect Toby, which I stated last week. Last week, theory number one was correct. Which was, I stated that the Kamui and the space-time migration that, that Toby used are connected to the same dimension. And then he goes into like a bigger explanation about how, um, well actually no, well before that, cause like, I think it was Naruto or God, like they asked him, like, well is he transparent? And then Kakashi said, well he, no, he's not transparent. But basically it's that section of his body or that particular part of his body that, that overlaps with Naruto or Guy is moved to, the, to another dimension. So basically, we see it, but physically speaking, he's not there. Because physically, his body, or that section of his body, is in another dimension. That's how it works. And we all know that. We, we all know that. We should, by now, if you're a Naruto fan, then you should already have known that whenever he, that whenever he performs this... The, that whenever he performs the space time migration, shut up, shut up. That whenever he performs the space time migration, the part of his body goes to another dimension. We already know that. We already know that. So, all right, whatever. And then basically he explains how the kunai was able to affect him because once the kunai, because once Toby kicked the kunai towards uh, Naruto and it was enveloped in the Kamui, well, it appeared in the same dimension as to where Toby's face was. So that's why he got the scratch on the mask. And then, that's pretty much it. Went, oh yeah, and of course like the last section where Kakashi asks him, well, well where'd you get that freaking Sharingan? And then, and then Toby explains how he, how he got the Sharingan in the previous, uh, in the previous Ninja War at the uh, Kanabi Bridge. And basically that was, and if you're wondering, yes, that is the place where Obito died, where Minato was Facing off against mad, mad Earth Ninja. I mean, like he had like, t like Minato had this shit set up. He had like, he had like kunais everywhere, and he was like, yeah, like he'd be, he'd be like an entire fucking platoon by himself in like a few seconds. I was like, holy shit, you know? So, that, so that was crazy. And then after, and after this, after Toby states that he got the Sharingan at Economy Bridge, the rest of this chapter is pretty much like whatever. Because then he talks about how, you know, like, Kakashi should, should keep his mouth shut and on all this shit. And then Kakashi, and then, like, he talks about how, uh, basically, like, that's why, um, he said that he knows that Kakashi had always made excuses to Graves. And then he says that that's why I'm going for an infinite Tsukiyomi. So people like you, heroes like you, won't make excuses over Graves. And then he comes Naruto, Naruto comes in there, blah, 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 blah. Hokage, and then Toby's like, blah, 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 failure, and then the TV comes in, blah, 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 sucking on Naruto's dick, sucking on Naruto's dick straight up, and then Naruto's like, I can fucking do it, the Kiwi's like, yes, you fucking can, thumbs up, and then Mijumoto, and that was it, <laughs> that was the end of the chapter, right there. It was dick sucking, it was a bijou mode, you can do it, fuck Toby. And that, that was pretty much the end of the chapter right there. So, overall, the most important shit is at the beginning. 
And that's why the chapter isn't okay. Because it was a lot of exposition, like a lot of, you know, talking. But some of it, actually no, most of it was irrelevant. Well, not irrelevant. No, no. Not irrelevant, but either it was shit that we knew already, or it was not really that great importance. You know, it was, you know, Toby Smack, then it was Naruto Okage Smack, and then the, the, the most important shit was Kakashi talking about the abilities of the dimensions and the Kamui, and then we have the Kagami Bridge, you know, and all, and all that shit. But as of right now, as of right now, who Toby is? It is trending towards Obito, however, pro probably not, because, again, we saw Obito die, and I can assume that the Sharingan, Kakashi, no, 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 that the Sharingan, uh, the Sharingan that Toby has was the Sharingan that Obito had. Even though it was strongly, 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 I mean, it was so fucking strongly hinted that when, that when Obito died, that boulder crushed in the right side of his face, but apparently, apparently not. Apparently the Sharingan was A-OK. -okay. In picture perfect condition, apparently. So, I mean, I don't know. As of right now, I don't know. Then again, I don't care. Because in my opinion, what's more important? The progenitor of all things that existed in the world of Naruto or some dude's face. You, t you tell me what's important, alright? So, that being said, King of Lightning. Oh yeah, and b by the way, by the way, quick question, quick question. How on earth does Toby plan on controlling the Ten Tails? Even, even if it's impartial, how the fuck do you control that thing? How do you control a god? I mean, this is not Pokemon where Arceus, oh, Master Ball, no, 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 fuck that shit. No, this is the progenitor of all things that exist in the world of Naruto. How the hell do you control that? How the fuck do you beat that? That question of the goddamn day. Two of them. So, that being said, King Lightning, and I'll see you guys later. Be sure to rate, comment, and as always, subscribe. Uh, once again, this chapter was okay. Not that great, but still monumental in some way, shape, and form. Just a lot of useless talking. So, I'll see you guys later. Peace. Signing off. Once again, okay chapter. Okay.